do have the bands coming through right now. So let's get started. Tell your friends this is happening. Trackmania World Tour. This is the match of the week that you don't want to miss. We have Slippy Slides banned from Blue Team. We'll Slow see. Down from Red Team. We'll see G1 pick freestyle, I, I think. Because uh, on paper, Team BDS is the worst team on freestyle they've they've been crashing so much and their median is is the, not right the interesting thing for me is they're leaving back and forth open interesting parkour first choice gyroscope from uh g1 and then back and forth from bds freestyle from g1 it's hard to keep up with here but yep. follow follow along agility dash from bds also good map for them and now Gwen being given the last choice, Flip of Faith, Air Pipes, or uh, Reps. I think Flip of Faith is a strong one. It's gonna be the seventh random. Reps, the choice. Um, okay, so who picked first? I think that was then, uh, that it, would be um, it, mu it must be BDS because yeah. they're, they're, they're the top of the league so right BDS now. BDS they... started with parkour. Yes, and that makes sense, right? Um, because Binks has, so uh, G1 has, has played six rounds, I think it is. Six rounds on parkour. Yeah. And Binks has crashed six out of six of those rounds. And Gwen has crashed four out of six of those rounds. Okay, so they are just saying, have you learned this? Yeah, they're just they're just basically saying, you need to practice this or you're just gonna lose the first map. I also love gyroscope being the answer because gyroscope, Gwen's pace is incredible. Although Binks has crashed a little bit there. And back and forth for Uffy. We mentioned this earlier. Out of 13 rounds Uffy played on back and forth, he has first place in 10 of them. That's crazy. And now the, the challenge is kind of being put up to Gwen, I think, with the most pace. Can you match that? I mean, that's the thing. And gamers first have learned parkour. The ending of this map is where all the crashes usually came in. And this is what Team BDS is telling gamers first. If you haven't learned the ending, you're gonna lose. Yep. Here we go with the warm-up. Arel and Uffy, I don't know even if we saw them play this map too much last week. The parkour, but their stronger maps were things like Slippy Slides, which was taken away. So also a good band coming in. Yes, here we have the warm-up. All the players are just getting ready right now as we head into the first map. Can we have some hype in chat here for the final match of the day? Our BDS going to continue their undefeated streak 2-0. to zero. They took down Solary, the team that most people had on top of their list. And they also took down Into the Breach, a top team as well. G1, they won their match against KC and they lost against the Lions. They're 1-1. One one. Can they beat BDS and be the first team to, you know, take some damage off this team? Hopefully they can, but right now we're heading into the last half here of parkour as we head into the half pipe jump. Gwen and Bings doing pretty well here. Aurel and Afi need to respond, getting this ending line here. Bings going a little bit too high on the bobsleigh. Will clip the wheel. Now let's see if Gwen has learned this. Uh, he once again has crashed four out of six times on this identity. Can he make it here on the seventh attempt? Oh, he's faster. He's faster than Aurel. He's going for a lower jump, oh, but he makes it. so close, but he makes it, and he will enter the finish line as Ooh. the first place. But hang on. Binks has crashed now. Can he stabilize? He gets the landing, and he will secure a win for gamers first. So they're starting the round two to one. But it's scary. That is the seven out of seven crashes for Binks so far on this map. He's, he's consistent. <laughs> he is consistent, but not the right type of consistent virtual. The this most consistent player. Mm. Okay. So, I mean, not... Yes, we will assume that that was just a warm-up round, and then 100% Binks will come back here on first place. You know what they say about the seventh pancake. The seventh pancake is never as good as the eighth pancake. True. Absolutely. Pancakes only get better the more you make of them. Indeed. And now we will see if they have figured out something better about their recipe. Something about that last part not going right with the pancakes. We'll take a look. Alfie and Aurel are at least more level this time. Alfie made an eight second mistake in the start last time. He's keeping up and he jumped out of the track there. G1 are on for another ace. 
if they can prevent the mistakes in the Hopefully box. Hopefully they can, but if we take a look here at Gwen and Binks in the top, these two players have had a lot of mistakes here in the ending. So let's take a look at the top two current players. Going wide here, Binks has failed every single attempt he's gone for this identity. Will it be able to take it home here on the eighth attempt? And it does look like he gets Don't it. Say it too soon. No, 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 he's doing well and he makes it when it counts. It's gonna be an ace for gamers first. On their opponent's map choice here, Parkour, they started with, and it felt like a bit of a curveball pick, because as you said, you look at these stats, four crashes, six crashes. That looks like something we can beat, but here, they're delivering strong 102s in the second round, and Aro and Offy now given something to work with. And that is kind of one of the things you have to think about. These players, they're looking at stats. They've looked at like, okay, Bings has crashed a lot. Wen has crashed a lot. Let's pick this map against them. But on the other hand, if they crashed so much last week, wouldn't it make more sense that they put more effort into practicing this exact map? Pick the opponent's best map, is what you're saying. Because <laughs> they've got because they they've gotten soft. It. Yeah. They've gone soft on the best map, right? True. Uh, we will see if that theory works out. Offy now. Two small mistakes in the first two rounds, this time up in first. Great pace from the Swiss player who was acing a lot of rounds for BDS the last two weeks. Able to win so many rounds for his team and have RL follow him. They're going into the end. Binks has matched him up the hill, but he will lose a little bit of time there. Gwen also matching RL for third. Afi though still a little bit ahead onto the first plank jump now. Trying to get that right tilt onto this Diagonal platform so you can jump to the booster. They're actually all gonna survive, but look at Aurel's speed. Is he gonna get the ace for his team here? He's trying! Ooh. He sandwiches himself Dude. in between the others and three, it's a win. 300 separating three players, two to fourth. Like that is, uh, that's a nice round. That's a great round coming in from all the players showcasing just how tight these races can be. Even on maps that are a minute long, having less than like 0.1 between the players. Yeah, and I think the survival rate, like the non-crash rate on this map has to be like less than 70%. Like most people, Crash a lot here, there are mistakes constantly. We rarely see four players surviving it that clean, but that is something I think we'll see more of throughout the season. Big mistake from Binks in the start, one second loss there. Glenn now having to fend off two players, trying to get a low quarter pipe jump. Very well done, getting a bit closer to Offy up in first. Aurel keeping that consistency going, trying to secure some points for his team. If Offy wins this round, that is the case. Gwen going into the Diagonal uphill now, trying to get more speed than Offy, landing a little bit earlier here, and he will get closer, but can he get the right Ooh. tilt on, specifically this jump right here, this is the scary one, gotta get to the booster, he gets that line right, and Offy is a little bit faster, but it's not going to be enough to the line, Gwen will win the round, and Binks gets third, that's a win for G1, they're that, eight points now. They're at eight points on the map that they statistically look the worst at, and a 102.5 is also a great time here, the current record we've seen in the tournament so far is a 102.47, so 102.5, definitely great pace. And the world record, 102.1, but that is using the flip strategy that we've seen, so... Yeah, where you do a barrel roll into the finish line, we we're only gonna see that if somebody full sense it has to go risky or they lose and i don't think we necessarily will see that from g1 as they are having only two points left uh, until they win. on bds though four points behind arel also down into last now Uffy needs to get first of this round or it will actually be over trying to hold on to first place but the bobsleigh hasn't gotten the best lines enters it very early in comparison to binks who gets more speed he is on his ninth pancake right now will it be a good one to oh. win the map for his team no and he's actually gonna get ace here it looks like gwen's made a mistake or else in third if they survive this identity it is an ace for bds and they are right back in the fight for this map can they both survive the jumps they will get clean landings here gwen we can hear him no oh, 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 <laughs> what a great snipe! I said we weren't gonna see the barrel roll. I was proven wrong. I am happy about it. You know that that feeling when you're like, wait, why do I hear an engine approaching? Yeah. And then you check and it's like, oh, Gwen is going for the barrel roll to clutch out a point. Nine to six, amazing performance. Track point for them now, a draw or even a loss would do it. And they could get off to a great start against the undefeated team. I mean, 9-6 to six is still really close, but what a clutch coming in from Gwen. You love to see it. I'm sure we're going to have a replay of that coming in later today. But, oh, oh we have a mistake 
from Binks. Another crash there on this map. That same corner earlier in the round prior. So some stuff there not really being too refined. But Gwen. with that being said, though, still, uh, as long as Gwen doesn't get third, ga Gamers First will still get this map down. So Gwen is on the task of just not getting overtaken by Aurel. He is about 0.1 ahead of him. So he does have a decent lead. Afi also with a crash. Is Afi going to have enough speed to be able to make this section now? Gwen with a nice lead. All he needs to do is oh! get into the finish, but he makes a mistake as well. And now if Team BDS just gets into the finish, but Afi also with a mistake. And now Binks, even with the mistake he made earlier in the map, will get second place and get the map victory for gamers first. He secures it there. That's how scary the parkour identity is. I think the players here played immaculately. We saw some mistakes, but far fewer than in every other time we've seen this map played. Absolutely, like this was great. Like this was a showcase that both the teams have practiced this map. Team BDS has practiced it a lot. That's why they picked it. Gamers first have practiced it a lot because they were statistically the worst team on the entire map. And now here we have some replays. Yeah, this is the ace that gamers first were able to get. They happened to survive the identity of both players there up in front after mistakes from BDS and were able to take three important points in one round. I'm just going to sh uh, show here how tight the game was. Here we have the three players, second to third position. Only 300 separating them as we enter the finish line. How does he even sandwich himself between them? Yeah. They were dead tied. And then this is the moment that you've been waiting to see. Look at Glenn here. You can see him on the splits far behind. He just decides, you know what? I'm going to send it. Sets up wide for the flip. We didn't get to see the first part of it, but he gets it and snipes RL for one important point there. I just want to... Um Nobody is going to say this, so I just want to say that was a great uh, spot by you. Switching camera there to uh, to the barrel roll, noticing that that was going to happen. That was a good spot. Thank you, Janik. I appreciate that. I wouldn't have seen that happen. But here we go on to Gyroscope, and we're going to put the camera now on Gwen because he is the fastest player on this map by far, driving 101s almost consistently in match. This is a map that, oh my god, two big mistakes from BDS. You cannot ask for a better start if you are rooting for gamers first. Gwen's pace here, though, is unmatched by almost anyone except Mudda. And yeah, I'm, I'm yet to see if anyone can even defeat him. Not here. only is his pace unmatched, in 14 rounds, he's only crashed three times. So he's consistent as well. Not only is his pace amazing, he is consistent. Yeah, it's crazy. Can they survive the identity here with 10 seconds to spare? I dare say this is a win and an ace for G1 before they've even crossed the line, but it is Trekmania Grand League and the maps are difficult. Gwen though, in this round where you should save, I think we he will see a, yeah, 102.1. Oh, casual 102.1. Um, he's played 15 rounds now and he's won 12 of them. It's just, <laughs> insa it's just insane. To me, this is a clear ban, but here's the problem. BDS banned slowdown which is another map where Gwen just shines. Yeah. So really, you, you have to pick your poison. Do we try to fight him on slowdown or gyroscope? They pick gyroscope, maybe because it's more mistake heavy. And we'll see if Gwen finally makes some mistakes here that give them an opening. But that also means that Binks is going to be oh, in this. Oh, yes, Ooh, that he is. was not one immortal. mistake already. He's not immortal, Gwen. He makes a small mistake, but still, Dimmick, three tons for Gwen here. He can still win the round, and I'm not kidding. Uh, he could. He could definitely come back right now. He's overtaken Afi already, and that means that Gamers First are looking to get that map victory, or the round victory, that is. He might be able to overtake here on the ice side as well. Another mistake coming in from Gwen. Very, very unprecedented from the, uh, the Frenchman himself. Yeah, Binks, though, now able to pick up the pieces for Gwen. Holding down first place, Aurel right there to challenge into the identity. Four tenths here, almost nothing. Aurel gonna go for the risky line and see if Binks can keep up, see if Binks can survive. They both angle towards the right, flicking to the left, Aurel missing it. Gwen could get past oh. and he does get past. Is Afi gonna challenge Binks for first? No, Binks gets it, holds it down, 102.6, and Gwen takes third. They're up five to one on Gyroscope, and it is looking tough. Gamers first really showing that they're shining now. I mean, do pay attention to Team BDS had been the only team in the entire tournament so far to be undefeated. And Gamers first won the first map, won the first map, and now five to one on the second map. Yeah, they are very strong right now. 
Binks also keeping it clean. Gwen caught in the respawn trap. Not going to be able to have a good round here. Binks again, though. This is the scary part about this team is that even the rounds where Gwen crashes, you still have Binks driving so fast up front. And actually, both him and Uffy have crashed here. Uffy forced to oh. double respawn the Bob Slay, and he is basically at that point surrendering third place. This could be another victory for Gamers First. Yeah, Bings does seem to have a solid, healthy lead here, about half a second. Actually, almost a second down to Aurel. Aurel did not get a lot of momentum going out of that dirt fling. And now Bings could theoretically save the ending. He does not opt to do so. Aurel does try to save it, but actually also makes a mistake. And Bings is going to be all alone in the lead. Gwen is going to uh, maintain that third place 10 seconds ahead of Afi. So um, I do think that it's going to be the point for Gamers Aurel first. Aurel hasn't finished. Where is Aurel? Aurel? What happened to Aurel? Missed the finish. They get aced. He had eight seconds to work with, but he made two mistakes on the last gyroscope he, transition. He lost 10 seconds on the last straight on the gyroscope. Gwen able to get an ace. It's eight to one. I mean, this is... If you're team BDS, you gotta, you gotta ace like three times now. I think either you try to ace or you just literally say, you know what? This map was a pancake to forget and we go to the next one. I mean... Yeah, I, I'm, getting, I'm getting hungry for pancakes now, man. Yeah, no, definitely. You should stop talking about pancakes <laughs> as we see Alfie crash out another round. Really, I think they just knew this was going to happen. Gyroscope, Gwen and Binks are looking unstoppable. I think it's a must-ban map almost against this team because they literally look I mean, to be fair, the reason that, that it looked bannable was because Gwen's pace was amazing, but now Binks is shining. Yeah, like Binks, Binks is driving point four, point three, right? Yeah, so it, it's not only Gwen, it is Binks as well. Both of them have... A, just incredible pace and the team in itself has great consistency they're gonna be acing it it looks like uh, Aurel is gonna try to see if he can deny but he does not only have to deny one he has to deny both of the players here in top two to be able to just have one more round here on this map but Gwen and Binks take it home here with an ace <laughs> and a 101 as well 11 points to one on this map gyroscope is looking like gamers first territory I don't think any team in the league can match them right now it's a crazy showing. 2-0 against the undefeated BDS team. True. 2-0 against BDS is just... That's a, a showing by itself. That is incredible. Yeah, it started out super well with the aces and then with Aurel making some mistakes. They're actually able to get an ace here. Somehow, Binks finishing the round. All good. But then Gwen coming back. Oh, we barely That was the respawn. the respawn. Yeah. Did not see that live. And then another one and where then the tag disappeared. Okay. So, I mean, we didn't quite catch it, but that was... Uh... We have some nice camera work from production here. Back and forth in time we go. As Janik, we are going on to back and forth. A map now picked by BDS, and they have to win this one. This is where Offy shines. 10 wins out of 13 rounds played consistently in the 57 to 58 low mark. Aurel needs to be able to match some pace, but we know the strategy here. Offy tries to carry and Aurel tries to match it, but Offy just flew out first round. That's the thing as well. And Binks was, um, in terms of median pace, the worst player here. So once again, Binks and Gwen might have practiced this map oh, Binks more. Binks missed the slide. Okay. Binks missed the bug slide. Uh, it happens. It was the first pancake of this map. And now Gwen will be alone in the lead. Aurel will try to see if he can uh, just sneak up on him, but not quite enough here. He's about a second behind and Gwen can actually take the identity a little bit easy. The, the positions are looking so defined right now. If every player just drives it without crashing for the rest of the run, we should have Gwen, Aurel, Binks, Afi. But we know this identity cannot be taken for granted. You have to get the turn timings right. Right, left, right here. Very precise. And then the last uphill. Gwen will win the round ahead of Aurel. Binks getting third and Afi will get fourth. And Gwen starting us off with a 58.4. Solid time. Still not quite the pace that Offy's going to be driving. No, we're hoping to see some 57s coming on this map. I don't think we've seen many. Have we seen any today? We've seen this map three times on three separate Mudda maps. Mudda was the closest, I think, with a 58-0. Offy with another mistake on back and forth. This is not looking great for BDS. Shaky performance here on the first two rounds of arguably their best map. Yeah, that, that is not looking good, but it could not 
It, it could also be because of the mental game losing two maps in a row and the last one losing that quite tremendously. They must be pressured quite a lot right now and being able to play under pressure is one of the key things they have to be able to do. Binks going so close to that little wall there but he makes it work and Aurel now in the lead he needs to maintain this lead because if he makes a mistake now it is gonna spell another ace for gamers first is Binks gonna be able to pressure himself up to first place going a little bit tighter here getting a, a wide line on the second turn Aurel will maintain the lead almost touching that pillar who's gonna get the final turn they're neck and neck so close oh! to each other Binks almost overtaking six thousandths of a second separating them insane race there all the way down to the backwards part it's so close Aurel six thousandths and he holds on for BDS he's covered for one of Afim's mistakes but if they're gonna win this map we need to see clean runs from Uffy like we know he can do. He needs to get out of this rut and start bringing the points for the team. Now a good start. You can see the dominance we're talking about here. Uffy on this map, when he gets the start right, is nearly unstoppable. That wide setup in the water for the powerful bug slides with more speed and into the dirt here. He is going to extend ahead. Uffy's gotten out of the start now for the first time and he needs to bring it to the finish. Gwen missing. An ace opportunity has arisen here for BDS. And this would be a very important ace opportunity as they're two maps behind. But Binks is still there to be defeated and he's not going to drive slow. He does have the slowest pace on paper, but that must mean that he's put a lot of effort into making sure that he does Afi. not have that anymore. And we have Afi with a mistake and Binks is now alone in lead 0.3 ahead of Aurel. And I think he's going to take it home. And what looked like so oh, 57. oh 57 which must mean that Alfie was on great pace Alfie as was well. on 57.7 like pace or something incredible uh, this round that should have been a win for bds at the least turns into a win for g1 and they go up five to three if they get this map it's looking so dark for bds i mean this this is honestly a great showing for gamers first Alfie though. Start again. With another fail in the start, he is trying to go a little bit lower than the rest of the players, saving uh, at most five hundredths of a second, and it costs him by touching that corner, which gives him an acceleration penalty. That will be very bad here for Team BDS. Now Aurel needs to see if he can get this first place. We are seeing the momentum right now. It is in G1's favor, and it's so hard for BDS to get out of this. Once it starts, you know, growing and growing, it's hard to make it stop. The lead that GDS is, uh, G1 is building up against BDS, it's two maps, and now it's looking to almost be three. If they ace this and get these points, BDS have a long way to go back in this game. Yeah, this oh, Binks just, Binks has lost a lot of speed, he but Aurel is he far behind. He has more speed, though. Will he overtake the inside line? He will with just a little more speed, a little more momentum going into that last section is so crucial because you keep that momentum for quite a while, and Aurel does deny the ace. Very important for Aurel to keep up there. He's hoping for Offy to get these clean rounds going. He knows that he is not the pace demon on this map, Aurel. His role is to get consistent points, but really, he wants Offy to shine, and he's trying to cover for his teammate where he can. Now, Aurel in fourth, but Offy up in first, and this is a really important round for Offy for his mental, for the momentum of the game. He needs to stop G1's winning streak. Yeah, and it does look well for Afi. He's currently in the lead, almost point one ahead, going in here for the 360. Will he get it? He gets it so well. Binks also gets quite a lot of speed, but not the trajectory that he was looking for. And now Afi, will it be extending his lead? Binks losing a little bit of that momentum there. And now into the identity. Afi on a strong pace. Did seem like he lost a little bit of speed, but ooh, Binks touching the corner, just trying to go a little bit too tight. Offy still on a strong pace. Will it be a low or a mid 57? Nah, high 57? High 57. high 57. And that is what his team needed right now. If you put them a little bit back in the fight, eight to six, it's still winnable for BDS. They can uh, at least win a normal round and get back up into the scoreline or an ace. They cannot afford a loss though. So from here on out, it has to be clean. He gets through the start again, gets the gears right, just like he practiced. Uffy has found the rhythm finally, just in the nick of time where it was getting scary. And now he needs to fight together with Arel to win this map. They're passing Gwen right now on the back there of the field, both up getting up to top two, but Binks is still holding on. 
to deny them an ace. Yeah, but here Afi, once he gets into the groove on this map, it can be really difficult to defeat him. He is so fast, Aurel jumping super close to the tree. He might have hit it if he just went a little bit further to the right, but he does just risk it a little bit. Just get up into the places here. Everybody's so close to each other. It's so hard to see who has the most speed, but Afi will maintain the lead. Gwen and Bing's there, almost overtaking. They're so close to each other, but Afi will maintain it. It's going to be a draw, 97. This is going to be the last round of back and forth. It is crazy that Binks and Gwen get second and third with 58.1s. It could only really happen against Uffy. Aurel also with a 58.2 amazing times. As you said, last round on the map now. Either BDS ace or they lose the map. They have a good start. Binks has made a small mistake. They're in first and third. But so long as Gwen is there, they're not going to win the map. Gwen is playing denial. And as we see here, Gwen just needs to not get third. Gwen and Binks, as long as they're not third and fourth, they will win this map. A crucial map win here against Team BDS. Gwen gets such a good 360, and yet now he's neck and neck with Afi. Where did Aurel go? Aurel might have had a little bit of a hiccup right there. He's point three behind. Aurel needs to overtake. Um, Gwen, oh, Gwen almost with a mistake, and now they're close to each other. Aurel needs to go for these inside lines as tight as possible. He gets closer. He gets the overtake. Can he maintain it here? Last left-handed uphill, and he makes it happen. That's an ace for Team BDS, and they will take home the map victory. What a comeback from BDS. They looked down and out on this map. They looked tilted. They looked like they were in despair, but off he finds the pace. He gets back to those 57s, 58s. Aurel does consistently good times, and they win 10-9. to 9. That is so important for Team BDS getting that map win. They could not afford to lose No, they, they lose definitely the couldn't. Game. So, I mean, well played by the players. Super clutch. Look at that in. round. The 6,000th there in favor of Aurel. That was one point missed. That was the point that G1 missed to win the game. And then we also have Afi uh, getting here a sub-58 and starting the entirety of that BDS comeback. Um, and that comeback was so important for them. If you lose three maps in a row, that is so difficult to come back from, like psychologically as well. Especially when you look at the track you're playing next and it's freestyle, a map that Gwen has set the current world record on in a live game. 107.36 is the time. And even worse than that, if G1 went into this with three maps in their bag, currently Team BDS on paper are the worst team on this map. So that would be super scary uh, for Team BDS. But once again, as we've seen, if you are deemed the worst team on a map, you might just spend that extra time getting good at it for the next week. Definitely do so. Early respawn there for Binks as he recognizes the no steering line is going to take him into the wall. So we'll not lose more than four seconds there. But now, Gwen has a task to do. He has to get first here. Cannot let BDS continue their momentum. This is how they beat a lot of teams last week. Gwen with a good uphill line gets past both the purple cars, pink cars, and now into the downhill. The identity remains. Fourth gear is necessary out of this corner. Aurel will hold on to it, but it looks like Gwen has struggled keeping it. Aurel passes him here on the first flick. Gets a clip there on the edge, though. Uffy will also have his chance at beating Gwen, but whoa, 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 he will get past Gwen with both of them making a mistake. It's a win for BDS. BDS takes first round, but not a pretty win. Uh, this has had a lot of mistakes coming in. Binks might not make it to the finish line, but this is what we're talking about. Freestyle has shown us a lot of crashes recently, and I think the most consistent player we've seen on this map might be uh, Granati. It might be. He was very strong here, leading big there to a almost win in the match as a whole. Very close game from earlier today. Highly recommend checking it out. But here we have G1 making the early mistakes. Binks, first of all, in the start, and Gwen in the identity. So they need to fix those mistakes, or BDS, with their consistency, will likely run them over. They definitely could here, but... I mean, you can never, even if you look at the stats from the last weeks, it is so difficult to go by because you have no idea what these players have been doing behind the scenes. Quinn and Banks, Quinn and Binks, though, 
Gwen and Bings though, getting that first and second position here from the very start. We see Afi jumping pretty high as the other players are jumping down into an ice slide. G1 preferring that ice slide section now going into a no slide uphill, making sure you get as much speed as possible. And then they release for a low jump going into the identity. You want to keep that upper gear, as you've said, 200 speed Ooh, is where you lose mistake it. mistake from Aurel going down. Bren, uh, Bings going down as well. It's Afi versus Gwen in the start. But Gwen gets the best first wall ride, and now he can take advantage of his opponent clipping the corner. He will win the round for his team in a very close battle right now for that third place. We'll decide if it's a draw or not. A strong winning time, but who gets third here? Aurel clipping. Oh. Binks will oh, not get there. It's a draw. Oh, close. So close, though. 10760. 10760 is a very respectable time. Definitely nothing to scoff at. And uh, if we can if we can continue to see these paces coming in, a 10, 107 is going to be winning times most of the time, I think. It is. 107 will get you there among the top. It's so hard to drive this map faster than that consistently. And then that one run from Glenn last week, point three is somewhere near his own limit. But it is not without paying the price of risking that he drives those times. He goes so close to every corner, leaves very little room between him and oh. the walls. Aurel going into the wall two seconds behind after that crash on the reset block. And now a big opportunity for G1 to get ahead on this map. Their third map choice in this game. Wide setup for that no slide. And they will be able to build speed out of it. Uffy three tenths or so behind Gwen, I believe if he has to get all the way up there. It is just the identity. Oh, Ooh, double crash. Afi with a mistake. I think Bings survived it. But he has low speed. Is he gonna make it? Oh, Bings no, has that just low make speed it. line. I think Bings is trapped here. He gets past it, but Aurel could be close. Gwen will win the round in first. Another 107.6, I think the exact same time. But Aurel and Binks are so trapped here. Very hard to get up the last wall ride. With a second respawn, Binks gets there and secures a win. Yeah, we're going to see this full 360 jumps here. If the players have very low speed, it will generate a lot of thrust upwards. But it is also a lot slower. That's why we don't see them do it uh, once they're on pace to win. But it is just a safe way. And basically just if you lose all your speed, that's your last hope. Yeah, you cannot get there usually without the fourth gear even. So already in the start of that empty when both of them crashed, it's looking bleak. Here though, a chance to recover from the mistake of last round crashing that reset block. Cannot afford that now. Four to four. And they will get past it. Oh. Offy into it this time. Aurel having to do the work to deny the two French players into this quarter pipe jump. Really like the BDS line here. It's different from most teams where they go for an inside line, go wider on the dirt, and get the no slide up here instead. Sometimes that does pay off in speed, and you can see RL using it there to catch right up to Gwen. The identity remains. Needs fourth gear as we land and go around this drift. Barely holds on to it with low speed, but it's still enough. And now the flick. Does he get it better than Gwen? Gwen has bounced out. He actually has this round under his own control right now as Binks is a bit too far. Three times, it's one second gap. Aurel will secure a draw. Another draw coming in five to five. This is a very close matchup right here on freestyle. And we're just going to have to see if they can maintain this. Team BDS has shown that they've definitely put in the practice on this map. But we do see these crashes coming in, especially apparently here on the uh, uh, no steer section. Yeah, the no seer has been deadly, costing Binks around early, costing Aurel and Offy around each, where they didn't really have any impact. But now we have gotten into the groove of the map. It should be less and less mistakes the more we play. So players are constantly just adapting their lines to what they see, getting into the groove of it, into the reset, all four players surviving it. That's what we like to see, a close race now on the screen into this ice part once again Gwen leading before it jumping far the other players landing earlier setting up for that inside line we will see the differences at the top of the hill which team will be in first it is Gwen with two pink cars right behind Banks jumping far here to try to catch up the identity remains but this could be the match that's the round that decides the match here for Gwen and Binks, or Aurel and Offy into the first quarter pipe jump. Binks going for the flip, Gwen going for the win. Aurel right there though, last flick up to the finish. Does he clip the corner? He makes it. Aurel so close to denying, but not 
quite. And another draw. Another draw. Six to six. It is getting tighter and tighter here. One, one team only needs to get a victory or an ace, and all of a sudden, it's looking really, really scary. But these draws right now, they're just um, making the game so tight. I can't, I can't even really pinpoint who is the most consistent. It is, it is definitely Gwen so far that has driven the best. 107.6, 107.6, 107.59. Three times now, he's really found his rhythm here, and he's kind of waiting for a round where Binks can join him. Because the two BDS players have constantly been able to get past Binks and secure these draws. But B Gwen is not immune forever. Gwen is going to make his own mistakes oh. at some point. And this is one of those rounds where now Binks needs to step up and do his part of the job and take a round away from BDS. An ace here would be disastrous for their prospects of winning the map. Yeah, that would make it a 9-6. Not something you're looking forward to. So, Binks will try to see if he can maintain this second place. Getting overtaken by Afi now. So, he needs to get good speed here into the final wall right and jump. Or hope that one of the other red players here will make a mistake. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. That's going to be ace for Team when BDS. Rel with a nasty 107.45. One of the top times in the world on the track. Driven live in the match right here. And that is the one round they're able to capitalize. When Gwen makes a mistake... The two BDS players go up in first and second, and they have one point left to gain. Now we have to see that Ace coming back from Gamers first if they want to be able to play one more round of this map and hopefully take the map win. But it's going to be very difficult looking at Team BDS having some really strong times that we just saw. So definitely not an easy task to do. I think they're just going to full send. Gwen has the potential to beat that point for Banks. We're going to need to see him push his own limit he's not been driving that fast on this map yet but now it's a good a time as oh. any to do it gwen into the wall and this could be bds from two maps down from one point away from losing the previous map and going down three maps could equal the score line to two to two all that remains is the identity and they don't have to beat Binks and they oh. don't have to beat Gwen. They just have to remain ahead of either one of them. And when they both make mistakes costing eight seconds, you have to think it's over. But Uffy missed the gear a little bit. So let's not call it too soon. Uffy getting up, Arel getting up as well. This is all but over here. BDS are coming back, equalizing the match. We are going to map five and it's dead even. Two to two. It is dead even 2-2. Two to two. It is crazy to see them come back in such a way where just a second ago, they could have ended up being three maps down to zero. But we see how scary this map is too. It feels like a consistent map until that identity. We're going to take a look at some replays. We have that first round where Arel and Binks both got trapped. This happens when you get low speed. If you enter with low speed, third gear, you have to get a very precise 360 fling up. And if you don't, you are just stuck there on the checkpoints, respawning and respawning and respawning. Yeah, but that's not the only place on this map that has multiple different lines. As we saw the people here going for different lines on the ice wall ride, that wall jump right there. Some people going for the inside line, trying to land in an ice slide. And some people opting to jump high and get that exit speed. We are now loading on to map number five. This is Agility Dash, picked by BDS. A map that Offy has the current publicly known world record on a 128.5 he drove that in their first game against into the breach and also one thing i noticed gwen in the in game chat just typing focus focus in full chat. caps focus in the in game chat uh i think he's going to focus i think that's his plan just yeah. just guessing just though declaring the focus is to be had right now for gwen as we're kicking off agility dash the longest map in the map pack it's a map bds we're able to play really well against the breach but it's a map binks is struggling on in this first round crash out already with still a minute of driving left for gwen try to remain in first yeah it does look like uh currently uh g1 seems to be the worst players oh, on this gwen. map but they only have four rounds on the map so there's not much data to be basing those facts on but as of right now team bds do seem to be on first and second place by quite a margin yeah, Gwen also clipping that jump. 0.7 here, it's not impossible due to the identity, but we have seen Afi and Arel be very consistent. Arel 
saving any outcome, it seems, that he gets from those plastic corners in the RNC. And he will look to do that Ooh. here to... This is starting out rough for G1. The momentum has actually shifted in BDS's favor. Ever since they won back and forth, they have been building this up now. And going onto this map, they're looking clean. They're looking quite honestly relaxed. Yeah, they're looking definitely confident here on this map, but there's still the identity to go, and this identity is one of the harder ones. So we'll have to see if they can get through this without any mistakes. They are making the first couple of jumps look easy. Currently, no mistakes as of right now, and Team BDS just makes it look so smooth. Incredible showing there from TBS or Team BDS on the first round. Insane stuff. They survive. They do what they need to do. And Gwen and Binks, they now have to refocus for real this time because that is a tough start to the map. It is, and a 29 is not a bad time. We are hoping to see some 28s coming in here soon, uh, especially from Afi. He definitely has the pace to go mid-28 as well, maybe even low-28 if he gets uh, past his own PB. So also a player to look out for if you are looking for that pace. Let's see what they can do in a clean round here. G1. Good low jump for Gwen. Not too low this time. Actually lands two sideways. And that means he has no grip on the landing. So take that back. He's down to fourth place. Into the full speed part. Binks and Offy both setting up very wide. See who gets the best of this speed slide. Hitting the snow corner for the realignment. And then Offy setting up wide. That is a great speed slide. 638. He's going to rock it back up towards Binks in first place. Wide setup for the uphill slide here. Looks like he's losing time, but then with these setups coming right back up near Binks before the ending. Binks still holding first by 1500s and Gwen, despite that small mistake, he is still well and truly in this fight for all the positions. I mean, this is as close as it gets on Agility Dash. We are more than a minute into the map and the players are only 0.3 with a separation here. Now Gwen trying to overtake Aurel and does seem like he's able to do so. Aurel making a mistake and now Afi is gonna be alone in the lead. If he doesn't maintain this lead, the point could go to Gamers first, but he does seem to have it. Afi defending the points for his team. Great time to 128.7. I mentioned world record 128.5 by Offy himself. So one of the fastest players here, also consistent, getting that ending twice in a row and keeping their lead against G1. Yeah, we need to see the consistency coming back in from Aurel though. Aurel did really well on the first round, making sure that he didn't miss the identity. That is one of the most crucial parts of the map because that's where we're gonna see people fail. So we need to see Aurel excel. That is very true. Good rhyme as well. We go into Round number three, Binks has not made a big mistake since that first one. Gwen, unfortunate, four seconds behind here, now having some trouble keeping up with the other players. The tilt, I think, is showing, and at least, you know, this they want to refocus, but it's hard to get back in the flow of things. Oh, oh. big mistake there, too. That's going to cost just about the same amount of time as Gwen's mistake. It's a one versus one in first between Binks and Aurel, although Binks has this. Quite on lock. Looks like three seconds for Offy, six seconds behind for Gwen. And so far, the only battle happening is this battle for first. It does seem to be the only battle here. Binks is in the lead though, but it is not over yet because we know that the ending, the ending of Agility Dash has such a high mortality rate, if you can call it that, such a high crash percentage. So we're gonna have to see if Binks can maintain the lead or rel actually kind of closing in a little bit will he be able to do so in the ending bing's getting the turns nice and clean he will maintain that lead all the way through the identity two more jumps to go and he gets it 128.7 from him as well matching the time from Uffy earlier and it's such a big confidence booster i think to get that ending that clean two times in a row now you're putting yourself up for a great fourth round and it does look like Gwen's focus in all caps definitely motivated his teammate to uh, focus um, in all caps and get that map victory. In all caps. In all caps. Definitely <laughs> we'll see how this one plays out. Now we have an interesting situation though. If BDS win this map, they would go up to map number six, which is chosen by G1. 
G1 will still have one map left they wanted to play in the map pack, and then the random map which remains. So, BDS, they still have a long path to victory, but if G1 hit this map and they get to their own choice, that could be very tough for BDS. We'll see how they handle it into this full speed part. Definitely a good situation to be in as we go down the hill. Speed slide coming through now. Wide setup for our rel, but look at the action speed. 644, oh, oh, the highest fast. I've ever seen. And he will get far up into first as well. Great line. Now still though, hasn't been able to shake away Gwen or Binks. They're right there with him, despite the speed. All four players approaching the identity with an equal position in the times. Yeah, these players are once again really close to each other. Binks with a slight mistake and also Gwen with a slight mistake. Now Afi and Aurel are going to be in the lead going into the identity. They're looking for the ace. Are they going to be able to do it? Aurel with a really clean ending but going a little bit too far left. He's going to have to slow down quite a bit. Oh. Gwen trying to overtake but Aurel gets it back and that's going to be the ace for Team BDS. Ace for BDS to get 8 to 2. A nice snipe for Aurel. It looked like Gwen had him beat but he went too far left on the next corner. Yeah. Eight that was close. Two. But eight to two. This is a strong showing from Team BDS here on Ag Agility Dash. And it is looking really scary for gamers first. The first team to go to three points, I feel like have such a amount of pressure on the other team. They really do. And it really is not the situation you want to be in, especially when you consider that you were up two maps. If you lose three in a row, what does that do to your mental? So, Gwen and Banks, I think they had this game on lock. They were feeling confident back and forth. One round away, suddenly, they are realizing this could slip away from them. A mistake from Uffy here means that Aurel now has to pass just one player, and G Gamers First could at least get one ace. But here's the speed slide. Aurel goes very wide for it. 638 this time. Still enough to get a little closer. He just needs one mistake to get up and get them to nine points to... Yeah, he is just lurking in the shadows, waiting for any opportunity to jump forth the second he sees a weakness in on his oh. opponents. And there was one, Aurel now taking the opportunity, capitalizing and going all the way up next to Binks, overtaking him as they head into the identity. Is he gonna be able to maintain that lead? It is gonna be close oh. here, Binks, with so much speed. Aurel with a slightly wrong entrance. And I think it's gonna be an ace here for gamers first. And they really were looking for that. Gwen, 128.55. That is world record or league record, if you wanna call it that. He gets another incredible time here on Agility Dash, beating the time from Offy in the previous week. Yeah, that is an incredible time, absolutely. Uh, that is, as, as you said, the league's fast, fastest time as of right now. So, gamers first, definitely put in the work to make this map uh, just a bit more consistent for them. And now it's not that bleak anymore. Now they have chances to win. If they can at least get a normal victory here, they go up to seven points. And that gives them a good chance. Here, Offy has not made that mistake from the previous round. And with his pace, you can see how tough it is for Binks to keep up. Binks would have to get past Offy here for another ace. And that is a long way to go. Gonna have to get a good speed slide. But we know Aurel gets these very good. That wide setup. Binks going for an inside line. Might get passed in the loop by Aurel. Will do so. And going down into fourth place again, Gwen though, still driving really fast times. This is again mid-128 pace before the identity. Once again, the players are all driving so well. Gwen going a little bit wider than I think he would like to with that line almost touching that pole at the edge of the water, but it does seem to work out for him. He's now going to be in the lead. Afi trying to pressure as much as possible, but if Binks can overtake Afi, we're looking at another ace here for gamers first. Afi needs to maintain this lead, but he might be able to overtake Gwen, losing a lot of speed. Binks now looking for the attack, getting almost ahead of him. He gets the overtake into the finish, but we have a mistake by Gwen hitting the finish line. Gwen missed the finish. They had the ace possible. It's still not over because he gets into it. But 7 to 9 the scoreline instead of what would be 8 to 8. They now must ace this last round to win. That is crazy close. Unfortunate ending there coming in for Team uh, team Gamers first here. Like that could have been so clutch 
But you know what? Pressure gets to everyone, and a mistake like that is bound to happen at some point. Such a clutch end from Binks too, though, to actually get past there. Oh, a backflip! We have a backflip from Offi RL, the last player alive for his team. G1 could somehow, from 8 to 2 points, get a win on this map. They only need Binks and Gwen to pass RL here, and they have the pace for that. They showed that in the previous round. Yeah, but Aurel once again going super wide to get the speed uh, from the slide here and try to see if he can capitalize on that line that the others don't do, but he didn't get a lot closer than the others. Now, if yeah, if uh, gamers first get this ace, they will get the map victory. Glenn releasing a little bit, letting Aurel get a tiny bit closer before the knife edge. Any wheel clip, anything at all. Aurel just needs to pass one player and the map goes to BDS, but so long as the positions remain, it goes to G1, Gwen missing that line a little bit, still ahead before the identity, the plastic now, the agility dash, Aurel makes a mistake and G1 take this map away from the jaws of defeat, they were down and out at 8-2, to two, but they come back strong and win it 10-9. to nine. What an incredible showcase here, like that just goes to show that the cap like focus all capital letters it works it did work but they did not get that map easy they had to work for it oh yeah coming back from an eight to two deficit it almost looks impossible it started so slow for them with constant mistakes and then we saw how good bds played this game 644 speed in the speed slide for a relative amazing slide there to get a lot of speed but really, it came down to those last rounds where here, for example, Binks was able to get past and, you know, deny the ace opportunity. Actually, looking at the wrong replay, that was BDS's big moment. This yes. was where they started their comeback. And uh, we have Gwen, obviously, with the, with the record there, with a 128.5. What an incredible time coming in from Gwen as well. Reps this beautiful. is map six. This was the one picked by G1. I don't know if we have seen them play this track yet, and I'm now curious to see what their pace is. We know Uffy and Arel very consistent on this. They played it against Solary and were able to defeat them in the previous week, but perhaps they will struggle against G1, who has had good pace on every other map, so reason to assume they're good here too. Yes. So, right now, first round coming in on reps. Such a dangerous ending as well here on this map all the players are going for that white line super important to get those extra 0.1 seconds uh gwen and bing's currently in the lead but all the three players here first second and third are driving on top of each other nothing is over quite yet as we head into the identity off these average here is actually ridiculous in 16 rounds played his median time is a 106.8 that is immaculate that is incredible and he's doing that once again here. He's going to be a tough opponent to beat for G1. They're going on to the identity of the beams. Aurel with more speed in fourth, but he misses. And now an opportunity to secure a draw here. They will take that. 106.48. Uh, that is the fastest time that's driven in the league so far. Well, didn't we have a point four from Mutta earlier too? Oh, yeah, yeah, I think. yeah, that might actually so be true. We're seeing two amazing times here. First from Mutta, now from Offi. But he is just improving his consistency even further. Offy is going to be tough to beat. He's going to be the man to beat for D1. But uh, does that count as a world record then? Oh, it's so close to it. I think Mata was a little bit faster though. I think he had a 43 if I remember correctly. And that was a 48. But we might see Offy yeah, beat that Yeah, I was this about game. to say, he has the pace for it. Then here, Gwen and Binks once again going for that wide line. Trying to get the momentum going out of the dirt section. And it does give you just a little bit extra pace but not quite enough to get next to his teammate here Afi and Binks in the lead they're driving next to each other that's also something Afi did that time without the wide dirt line he does not go for it favors the consistency and again we see him up in first Binks challenging for first place gonna need to get the beams better than Afi Early gear change there, more speed ever so slightly onto the first jump. Uffy still about a tenth ahead into the drop down, into the slide. Less speed, mm. Gwen picking up where Binks left off. Arel also respawning. Gwen winning the round actually by two hundredths. Missed that in the camera view, but we see Gwen sniping a win away from Uffy.
Nice. And that time. is great. Now, gamers, first, they're going to get uh, that point lead that they're looking for. And if they win this map, they win the match. So this is just more and more pressure getting added on to Team BDS. It is. It is very high pressure. It's turning out to be a match just a lot like their Solary match where we see incredible matches. You know, maps traded back and forth and nothing is gained for free except spots for Glenn here. He hit the wall before that fragile part. That costs you a lot of time and he is going to fall quite far behind. Now Banks in the outside line needs to get a small advantage to try to secure a draw for his team. Yeah, this is also once again looking really, really close. Reps is a consistent map to play all the way throughout until the ending where we're going to see multiple mistakes very often. Binks is in the lead now, though, and he's trying to maintain it. But Afi getting really close here as we head into the final left-hander before the identity. Binks is in the lead, trying to maintain it with the with the very wide line, getting the upper gear now, and he still has it. He needs to get the first jump, the first jump coming in. He makes it, Off then the mistake. drift into the second here, going out too wide, and Aurel is gonna take the first place. Gwen takes the second. Yeah, Alfie made an early that mistake there, or else they could have had the ace, actually, on the cards for BDS. They could have, but that second beam is just taking a lot of players out because it is so thin, and you have to enter it with so much speed after that drift. It is incredible the, the fastest strat is to enter it while drifting and then it's quite unpredictable what your actual exit trajectory is going to be it's a lot easier if you're not but that's how they drive it they slide onto it cancel the slide when they get full grip and then continue on Afi dropping down there into fourth place having to release giving g1 a small opportunity they still have to get past this tough outside line Binks oh. not favoring it actually ending up somewhere in between which is not good and Afi's right back there into the top four. The, the battle is still so close that it's impossible to tell how this one's going to shake up, but it will come down to the identity. You will see Gwen and Binks try to push for a small advantage before then looking for a potential ace. They know Afi is a tenth behind, and he has been the fastest player from Team BDS. Arel, though, likes to risk these pipes especially fast when he needs to. Going on to the first one, Gwen getting the landing right, Binks getting closer to Arel, more speed with the slide, Gwen missing that part, but Binks secures first place, they will at worst get a draw, and they will get that with Afi taking the safe in. 5-5, five to five. I mean, in terms of pressure, Team BDS is still getting more and more pressured, because gamers first, they definitely could be taking home this map victory, and indeed the entire match, so Team BDS needs to try to see if they can get those uh, victory points soon they do and if they don't win this one i believe we are going to flip of faith as the randomly chosen map so that is a map that both teams honestly look great at they both have good flips if it goes to that but i think g1 would rather prefer to close this out on their own choice of reps this is where they're looking to get their fourth win in the series and win the match of the week against the undefeated team of bds but they are not getting it easy here. Aurel and Afi, second and third, keeping Gwen down there and at worst getting a draw. If the positions remain. Binks has just a small lead. The margins on this map are tiny. We're talking five hundredths being a decisive factor. Binks again into the grass part in first, but here we see the BDS players often getting just a tiny bit more speed. Speed sliding down, maybe slightly closer now. Impossible to tell. Binks losing speed there though, landing the first beam. Afi, pushing close but it's still Binks in first who gets the best landing Binks takes it and Glenn gets third and that is not a draw it is a win but all players are within 1200 yeah that is crazy tight that's such a good race everybody made it through the entirety of that map and point one basically is separating all of the players after a minute of driving that is impressive and the times are 0.6 and 0.7 if you put BDS against any other team here or G1 against any other team they would ace them with the times they just yeah. drove. And now it's just a small victory for G1. 7-6, a track point possible with an ace.
Yeah, if Gamers First gets an ace, they get the match, the entirety of the match. You see how wide Gwen is going there, but he gets the momentum right afterwards and jumps right Ooh. up into the field. Such a tight line coming in. Afi will maintain the lead, though, here. Gamers First, they're looking for that ace. They're looking to close it out as fast as possible, but BDS is not going to give up that easy. And it's all four players once again, neck and neck as we head into the identity. This is scary for Afi. If he misses that beam, it could be an ace for G1. It could be the entire game. It's all on him right now to hold them off. Arel is going to try his best to risk. Afi keeping the lead on the first one. Does he have the line for the second? Gwen missing it. It's not going to be an ace. Bing's trying, but Afi takes a win for BDS and we go to 8-8. Eight to eight. This is getting as close as it can possibly be here. A victory for any team would give them the map uh, and a ace also would make them win this is getting close like it would be cool with another draw but this is just as good mistake oh we already have a mistake binks in the start clipping the first beam he and now gwen must win yeah gwen is trying to see if he can get that draw to happen because if he can't then team bds will indeed get this map and will go to map seven Arel has lost significant time, but this is the most important dirt outside line of the match. Needs to build speed here and maybe get a small lead to work with. How much is the difference going to be on the next checkpoint? Gwen releasing now to not clip the corner. It is point one only to Offy. Is that enough is the question. They're going to send everything they can at him because this is the best opportunity. BDS are going to get to win this map. They have to do it in the identity and they're going to send them both trying to do it. Yeah, Gwen needs to maintain this lead, but Afi is going to full send to see if he can get the victory. They're so close to each other, but Afi is going to make nothing go to chance oh. here. Gwen with a slight mistake. Afi will overtake. Afi also gets a slowdown here. Anybody jumping out the map? No, they're going to full save the ending. Oh, well, 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 missed. But they're still going to get the map victory because they're first and third. Team BDS will take map six. We're going to map seven. Oh my god, what a dramatic ending. I thought it was over when Aurel missed, but he gets the safe finish to conclude the map. BDS have taken us to map 7 in the most dramatic way possible. That is incredibly close. I cannot believe that we're going to map 7 here on the match of the day. Afi started this match strong, just casually dropping a 106.4, matching the new pace on this map from Mara. They're racing the bar. Yeah, I mean, they're not just raising the bar in terms of pace, they're raising the bar in terms of consistency. As you can see, all the players are driving so close to each other and just take a look at the times as we enter the finish line, how close these players are actually raising. I was so close within point one of a second. And then we have the match actually starting here. Let's not miss any action on Flip of Faith. Good luck, bros is being typed <laughs> in the in-game chat. So we see Flip of Faith. G1, they did drive this map well against KC, I believe, but so did BDS in their match on this. Yeah, here once again we have Flip of Faith where we have a barrel roll coming in right now. You can see Bing's executing that wonderfully. And we have two extra barrel rolls coming in in the ending of the map. And the first one there is actually super detrimental because not only does it uh, give you a faster time, it also gives you more momentum going into the next section of the map. You have such a long full speed part after that. We see a big mistake from Offy early on. Gwen, one of the most consistent players on this map is in first. And he has Gwen, uh, Binks right by his side here, ready to try to get an ace. Arel Currently in second though, and Aurel knows how to do these clips extremely well. Has clutched out rounds here for his team in the past. He's gonna go low, but Gwen is gonna go lower. Extending his lead right now, the last flip up. Aurel going too low, okay. and ace is possible. G1 start with three to zero. What a great start for G1. They could not have asked for a better start to the last map of the day's eSport. This is everything they could hope for. But we know Aurel and Afi's potential on this. That was a 104.5 winning time. I don't know if that's going to cut it in the rounds to come. They are going to really push it, and they can drive those times too. I mean, low 104 is some of the fastest times we've seen currently on this map. And a 104.5 will give you at least like top two, I would assume but such a great start here from gamers first everybody making that first bail roll as well when will main remain in the lead actually afi getting that lead right now as we head into this checkpoint 28.9 going through the checkpoint this is great pace this is fast from afi 
They are flipping the scoreboard right now. Glendo, we saw how low he dared to go on the previous flip. That was not a product of accident. That is Glenn oh. on these types of things, excelling, showing his prominence from the Serrator Cup. But he is playing against two Serrator Cup winners up ahead. Alfie and Arel have both won on maps like these in Paris before Binks not making it. And it is going to be a reverse ace if they both make it up oh. here. Hold on. Glenn is going to deny it. He's going to at least get in between. And as we said, 104.5, how about a 104.2 from RL? That is fast. Now we're getting towards the pace that we need to see from the players. But so unfortunate for uh, from Afi there, uh, not making the last jump happen. That ace would have been super important for Team BDS. Yeah, they really need that to balance themselves out there. Still down by two points now. So we enter the third round, and that started out great for them. They both got the first flip so nicely, whereas Binks missed it by a little bit into the first quarter pipe. This is where we're going to see some differences. First flip up, great landing for Gwen up ahead, but Binks again trailing now by four tenths. Gwen has a super start here. Gwen has an incredibly fast start. Just see how, or just seen by how low he went with the barrel roll. Definitely a fast start. Binks is not too far behind. They can still get the ace. He is only point one behind the entire team BDS. Everybody here from second to fourth driving on top of each other. Gwen is the only one with a significant lead. Now Binks is here on second place. Both team members from BDS are gonna risk it here in the ending. They have nothing to lose. Binks with a mistake here. They must have seen that and Aurel is gonna save the ending. Gwen gets first, Aurel gets second. Afi with a mistake as well, but I think Binks is too far behind. Binks is indeed too far. It's just a draw, but what a time from Gwen. He gets a 104.08. That a is the world record. is incredibly fast. It is the fastest time we have seen in the league. It is two tons behind the world record currently by the player Wizzy, a 103.8, I believe, but an amazing showing regardless. To do that on match in the seventh map of the match is something else. Now, I mean, can he repeat it? I mean, that is just showing what the level of these matches are right now and the pressure that these, play that these people are playing on and they're able to perform under it is just insanely uh, impressive with how these flips are going i wonder if this is a strategy of gamers first they're sending gwen to go for that extremely risky first flip line and binks is going for the anchor the backup just taking a bit more safe of a flip losing a little bit of time and letting gwen try to get those first places off you though here to challenge for it they are just about equal through the checkpoint better line with speed for gwen here but the flip up all four players are present Binks jumping very high, Offy missing the low jump, Aurel going into second place, does he get the flip up? He clips the corner, it's not going to be enough to beat Gwen, but he will deny the ace. And now Gamers first jumping up to seven points, can technically close it out here next match with an ace, and that would be the match point. This is the final round here of the final match of the day, so let's hear it in chat again for who you are voting for. Can they ace them? Aurel has been able to deny, Offy has been able to deny. We are reaching a conclusion here. Can they take down BDS, the undefeated team who went in with the most momentum? They played a stellar match, both teams all six tracks up until now, and they both have earned their right to win. But this will be the decider. Flips more important than ever before. Into the first one, mid low for Offy. He's gonna clip the corner, and Aurel will get a lot of speed out of it, but he gets passed by both G1 players. Yes, this is looking really interesting here for gamers first. If Binks overtakes Aurel, and they, if they get this ace, they will take it home. Afi currently on fourth place, trailing about point one behind the rest of the team. But Aurel and Gwen is where the real interesting action is at. They are first and second, and I wonder if Binks is going to see if he can send it to make this an ace and just close it out as fast as possible. He goes for a low line, a little bit too low, has to... Uh, oh. Respawn and Gwen and also an with a mistake. This and it's an a ace. reverse ace. And now we're looking at Team BDS equalizing the score. Two big mistakes there for gamers first in the identity. BDS have equalized it. <laughs> this is the ending I think we could all hope for. I mean, it is as close as it gets 
three maps for each team. They've equalized it on seven points for each team. It is oh. no what has happened in the start. Aurel looks to have been made a mistake. Half as always oh, was Gwen, sorry, a second behind. And now Binks is forced to get this first place. Binks into the wall. No, sorry, Gwen into the wall. Binks now. A second place would also possibly do it. But the two red players remain ahead. They have good starts here. And there, it is about three tenths of a second. I don't know what happened with Gwen, but he is coming back. You can hear his engine. He is still present, but they're going to need amazing flips here. Perhaps even a mistake. They cannot lose this. Not like this. Not this way with a wall touch in a weird spot for Gwen. But we see the red players in the identity. They know this is their chance. Off the NRL. Are they going to go up to 3 0 this week? Off the missing the oh. jump. A draw is possible now. 4G1. And if RL misses this, it could even be an ace. But RL holds on. Off the too far. It's going to be a draw. We go to 8 8. 8 8. That, I mean, once again, I mean, they're teasing us at this point, right? That was such a good opportunity for that, BDS. And they know it. Afi, Afi didn't even need to get second he didn't need to ace it he needed to save it to get third would be fine he was two seconds ahead at that point but i mean it is so difficult to analyze those situations as you sit in them it is so easy to be captain hindsight and we can take nothing away there from from the slight mistake it happens to everyone as we head into the next match here eight to eight when going high binks Ooh. going low binks with a full respawn is he the only one it looks like it it looks like binks is the only person to fail at first flip and that means glenn would have to win to extend the match bds another golden opportunity here they can send two players to risk it's 10 seconds they have nothing to lose by full sending the identity and hoping for the best if one of them can catch Gwen by two tenths they win the game Gwen now needs to keep this lead, but Afi going for the wide line, trying to see if he can get the speed here, setting up for a low, low jump. Gwen also getting really low, not leaving it to chance, making sure that he maintains that first place. Aurel trying to see if he can snipe it, but it does not happen, and we have another round draw. Or do we? Is Afi going to make it here? He is. If not, Binks could have gotten close. He was really just one respawn behind. 9-9 nine to nine on map 7 between G1 and BDS. And we will see on flip of faith of all maps which team can handle the pressure the best. We haven't had it decided by weird crash in the start. We haven't had it decided by any other weird mistakes. This could be the decider round. Anything but a draw will end the game. Here we go. This is as close as it can possibly get. Map 7, 9-9. Nine to nine. Team BDS versus Gamers First. Currently, we do have Gamers First in the lead. Both of them going for super low jumps. Aurel is now going to be in the back, but Afi getting that first place. Aurel losing important time there. That's a lot. That is four tenths of a second to both Gamers First players. And the question here is, do you risk to try to catch up to Afi here and end the game? Or do you think it is far too precarious? Because if one of them makes a mistake, then BDS would win, assuming Alfie remains first. This is a mind game. You have to decide right now. Do we risk or do we remain and go for the draw? It is so hard to figure out. They're going to see in the flip. Gwen going very low. Gwen respawn immediately. Binks needs first. It's the only way. Aurel made the flip behind him. Binks no! missing as well. Alfie missing no. the flip. Aurel is there. Where? Who is second? Who is third? They're upside what down. What is happening? How many people are going to reset with the game? Be BDS taking home the victory. What a confusing ending, honestly. But wow, that could not have been more interesting. An insane round to close the game and BDS remain undefeated. But gamers first, put them to map seven under the most pressure we have seen. Even more pressure than Solary. An incredible fight. What an incredible fight indeed.